Uh, get the flamer. The heavy flamer. We are the enemies of our death. My theory is made manifest. We are the flamer that chapters biased. I would like to file a complaint. I love how indiscriminate you are with your flame. You don't need no, to no. whip it like a noodle in a swimming pool. Like, what the fuck? Ah, ah, <laughs> purge it in flame. Burn in holy fire. The time has come, brothers. No mercy. Shitpo slash heresy alert. If you're offended when someone goofs up the lore or talks shit about your favorite chapter of Space Marines, please. <laughs> Welcome to the grim darkness of the future, where peace, happiness, and prosperity have been replaced by war, death, and destruction. Not necessarily in that order, but necessarily in mass quantities. I will endure a thousand deaths before I yield. In the last episode, nine months ago, we were introduced to the sentient fungi known as the orcs, Whoa! the corn-worshipping heretics known as the forces of chaos that make the civilian casualties of World War II look like a picnic, SKULLS FOR THE SKULL THRONE, BLOOD FOR THE BLOOD GOD! List of Cornate Massacres. This list is incomplete. You can help, help by expanding it. it. <laughs> and most importantly, the Space Marines of the Imperium of Man, led by the venerate Emperor himself. We are one in the Emperor and the will of man. And as much as I'd love to hear about your hyper-intelligent Dark Elder Waifu, the dumbass weeaboo space communists, and the rattle me bones! Robots, the Xeno stealing your shit this time around are the Gene Stealer Tyranids. Your infestation spreads no further, alien! It may sound like despotic deja vu for someone to be stealing your shit again, but that's usually the way these 40k games go. Xenos are either killing something, breaking something, or stealing something, you're deployed to intervene, you realize the shit is fucked, and you may as well blow it all up anyways, and then you blow it all up. None who live can survive the flame. Which may beg the question from your perspective, why not just blow it all up in the first place? Like, exterminatus nuke from orbit, and to that I retort... Because it is the Emperor's will, and also purging is really, really fun, brother! The Gene Stealers are doing just that on one of your space hulks called the Alethros, and you're the librarian in charge of salvaging anything of value and purging the Xeno filth. Your heresy stops! Here! Alongside Devastator Parakeel, Apothecary Nahum, and Shot Caller Belial, you make up Deathwing, the first company of the Dark Angels chapter. We are the Angels of Death! The whole Dark Angels in bone white armor may be a little confusing, but it's only Deathwing. The rest of the Dark Angels are actually green, even though. The salamanders are already green, but the salamanders are almost always on fire, so it's not that hard to. Brother, enough with the lore! Brothers! Retribution is at hand. It is our strength. We are the sons of Caliban. Let fury guide your weapons. Let vengeance be your song. We are the angels of death, and our enemies shall fall! Decked out in Terminator armor, you're larger and more formidable than your ordinary space marine, but not so huge that you can't fit through doorways like a menacing full-size dreadnought. None may block our path. And you better believe you're gonna need this intimidating armor, because the gene stealers you're up against, well, they're not exactly small. By the Emperor! Can the Xenos get any bigger? And you may be thinking, at least I have two Dark Angel Terminators to help me. Wrong. I know it may be heresy to shit talk fellow Terminators. Bold words for someone in assault cannon range. Delete this heresy. <laughs> heresy? It burns. We heard you were talking shit, brother. But short of dispensing a few cookie cutter voice lines and soaking up damage, they are useless. That is like one single Xeno. Steady yourself, brother. Discipline is their sole strength, as in even if they are on the brink of death, they will not heal themselves unless you instruct them to. If I need to die, I die standing. So if you really want to get heretical, you can instruct Apothecary Nahum to constantly juice himself up with self-heals like a fiending junkie, and he becomes a Tyranid Broodlord punching bag while you inflict heavy damage on whatever's attempting to eat you. Tyranid bait is not the right word, brother. I prefer expeditionary Tyranid punching bag. Your skill tree allows you to make these fellow brothers of yours more powerful, yourself more powerful, or grant 
adds additional purging abilities, and I sure as shit didn't blow any of it on them. Yes, Brother Barakil, I realize you want better armor, but I can now purge heretics in three different kinds of fire. At least your objectives are simple, because you'll usually see a one-word description like fight or destroy off in the distance, and I think you already know what the hell you're doing here. So let me save my breath. The Xenos are coming. We have to exterminate them at all costs. I'm gonna need more bolter for this heresy. I'm confused by this heresy, brother. Are the foul Xenos just purging themselves? Predictably, once this string of objectives is complete, you realize the gene stealers lived up to their names by stealing your genes and decide to incinerate the place exterminatus style. It was impossible to remove the traces of our gene seed from the bodies of the aliens. So Grandmaster Belial vowed to destroy everything instead. Consider this a clear division in the video. Our guns have fallen silent, brother. Because the single player, especially on the No Mercy difficulty, can be a frustrating, overwhelming with annoyance, and underwhelming with content experience where you feel like a lone guardsman against a legion of Xenos. Let me tell you about the Tyranids. But the multiplayer is five times better, a totally different animal, and it feels heretical even looping it in with a single player because it's a completely distinct experience xenophobia increases you know you're in a 40k game when instead of saying waiting for players it's waiting for brothers <laughs> waiting for brothers. i'm getting too loyal for this shit brother 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 brother, brother. <laughs> look at psycho he's ready to smack a hair what's dick. up <laughs> First of all, multiplayer allows you to play six classes instead of just one. Not that I hated playing a librarian. My face, oh, but I don't know what a librarian looks like because I can't fucking read. But heavy weapon specialty granted me an assault cannon and abilities like zero spread, a devastating mine, and a virtual A10 warthog for an arm. Assault cannon deployed. Blood ravens be like <laughs> me, an intellectual. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the size range. Nah, dude, you I got this. Get nah, you bitch. Both my Look Watch. at him. Look at him. That's That's zero just accuracy like nothing? on that Fuck rate of up. fire. Easy for somebody with a fucking A10 warthog strapped to their arm to say. Run to me, brother. Yeah. They'll all get fucked if they run into it. Just watch. Done. <laughs> <laughs> Apothecaries are important because with half the Tyranids being able to tear through your armor like a Cheetos bag, you're gonna need an answer to your H key, which happens to be a needle drill the size of a baseball bat. Stimulant deployed. Apothecary required. I need an apothecary. <laughs> Brother, I need an apothecary. <laughs> <laughs> It is tearing and whispered in my ear. He needed one too. You would do that. You would do that. The apothecary walks up. Come here. You think he's gonna Come heal here. you? You think he's Come gonna here. heal you by stabbing you with his needle? He just punches you in the face. Whatever, I'm going in. Hold on, brother. Hold on, brother. The cooldown. There, I'm gonna drill your oh, ass. By the way, there you go. Little... Oh. Hey, man, how many fingers am I holding up? Turn off your heavy flamer so I can tell you. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'll get you. I'll get you. There you go. Thank you, brother. Tactical specialty was a must-have because he can revive a fallen brother. Your duty is not done, brother! An interrogator chaplain is a no-brainer because he can revive three fallen brothers, temporarily reflect all incoming damage, and temporarily become invincible, which makes him broken as shit, the best-looking, and overall a force to be reckoned with. Pain is meaningless to me! Can I speak to your manager? <laughs> the point I'm making with all of this fuss about classes is that multiplayer offers both variety variety and specialization, whether you're looking for something different or you just want to play someone that suits your style. You can move far beyond the librarian of the single player and retribution just isn't the same without your brothers. Brothers, to partake in our crusade is to be immortal. It's worth mentioning at this point to turn Codex rules on because it is a far less grindy experience and more importantly, friendly fire is off. With the amount of heavy flamers we run, I'd say the Codex Astartes does support this action. We may get burned, brothers. Yeah, the first thing that you do, of course. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the space book says this is bad. Don't up your <laughs> There's no need to do that. It says we can't do that in the Codex. Well, I can't read. <laughs> Just game. roast my flames! <laughs> Everybody gangster until Lolly Rick pull out the heavy flamer. <laughs> Which conveniently leads me to my next point. Weapons. I'm gonna need a heavy flamer for this heresy. 
in the single player, you've got to use a versatile weapon. You've got big targets, small targets, close targets, distant targets, so much of the arsenal you can't use because it doesn't meet all those requirements. Take the Redemption, for example, the badass scatterbolter that blasts Xenos away in a ricochet of righteous steel. Death to the enemy! <laughs> God, the ragdoll with that is so good, Heavenly. Dude, yeah, it just flew across the cliff. so far. Stormbolter and the Stormbolter Yo, this mark. shit ricochets? What the fuck? Yeah. Yup. Yep. In the single player, you won't have the range to hit the dudes with Grimdark Panzer Shreks or anything at a distance, for that matter, and your brain dead brethren sure as shit won't notice them, so you're boned due to lack of range. But in multiplayer, you can combine your redemption with a Heavy Flamer, Spear of Caliban, and Stormbolter for coverage at all ranges. You cover your brother up close while they cover anything at a distance. For the Emperor! Now, that's also the reason why melee is a bit of a joke, because on normal difficulty, I love crushing heretics and merciless retribution. My faith is my shield! By all accounts, it was no more than a hulking mass of steel! But with any higher difficulty, it just doesn't work. Not only because Tyranids specialize in melee combat as apex predators, but so many gene stealers can one-shot you, it's paramount to purge them before they get close. Furthermore, damage is localized, as in if a gene stealer chomps your right arm, you can't shoot, and slashes your legs, you can't run away. So again, melee is a tough sell. I cannot move. Hey, at least you can use a power fist with every heavy weapon, so it may not be a sword or an axe, but you can still smack a heretic. The other of the chapter's Come finest. Come Die. You get the point I'm hammering at. Every weapon in the arsenal is at your disposal with brothers by your side in multiplayer, instead of a handful of versatile ones in the single player, which means more fun, more purging, and of course, indiscriminate use of the heavy flamer. Burn in holy fire! I tell you to stop using your flamer so that I can see First of all, this is a heavy flame. Oh, Why are you flaming me? I'm right. <laughs> My flame does not discriminate. I'm an equal opportunity flamer. <laughs> <laughs> equal opportunity purging. Hey, 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 hey. No. You're like a disciplining mother with like a spray bottle, but instead it's hey, a heavy hey, flamer. No. No! It's heavy for a reason, because the Xenos you're up against I like to categorize as Apex Predators, Suicidal Apex Predators, and Apex Predators so large that they can only be described as virtually immortal. I'm sorry, it's I'm a big sorry, boy. Go. It's a big boy! Get out of my way, Clue! Get out of my right, way! I'm too chunky. Yeah. Oh! Get behind the man with the assault can! Gotcha. He'll come up in a second. No, we'll be fine, Clue. If you got a salt cannon and a heavy flamer, he'll go down. There you go. Technically, the Scythe Strain is virtually immortal, and the Brood Lord is virtually immortal and psychic, so rule of thumb, Cthulhu-looking Xenos are superior to non-Cthulhu-looking Xenos. What is this? Get behind me, brother. Club out here. And if it's a 20 foot tall praying mantis bug looking thing that just cuts your buddy in half and doesn't go down with an initial burst, it's either a scythe strain or a brood lord, and you may want to start a retro I mean a tactical withdrawal, because two more are on their way. Retreat now for victory later. Alright, everything you got. Why everything not you right, got boys? to the brood lord on the right. Just do the one close to the objective. As uh, soon as he gets here, so Goose, hit your reflect, yeah, and on after on. it's done, hit your I'm invincible. Our I, I have to bounce back. I got the reflect damage. You're on Honestly, not gonna be able to see anything. Just, just keep yep, tanking yep, yep, him. Yep. We got a heavy player oh, and a soul cannon just laying into him. Goose. It doesn't what? matter. If I can't, can't see anything. anything. They, gotta so oh, they gotta be so chunky. They gotta be so chunky. I got you. I got you. You're coming back. That's thank one you, down. You. One down. This is my thing, man. That's it. That's I it. Not, I toast. can't see a fucking thing. When the 20 foot tall, genetically perfect apex predator gets mowed down by a bunch of dipshit farmers with flashlights, I could rant about the bullshit psychers that can one shot you with. Heresy, but I don't want this video to quadruple in length for the sake of Xeno sorcery space magic. I am calm. What sorcery is this? <laughs> <laughs> Yet no matter how terrifying the Xenos you're faced with, they all have a glaring weakness with no known counter. Doors. This is a point of strategic import. It may sound weird that doors are the pinnacle of strategy in Deathwing, but deciding whether to lock them, unlock them, or simply power fist them open for a rapid escape is the closest it comes to chess. I leave only rubble. You're insisting on a risk. A quick tutorial on doors. These are the most important <laughs> things. Fire pirates can get through that shit. That's how you go through doors. This is gonna keep them out, right? <laughs> Yes, Don't if do you it. hack it. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, let's close this door behind us. Oh, wait, we can't. Oh, and this wait. is where I'd lock the door. If there was one! <laughs> All right, this is what we're actually supposed to do. Now, come No, ah! no, come <laughs> Die! Why are you like this? Get in oh, here, brother. Lady? I'll block it. I'll block it. I'll block ah! it. I can block shut that it. shit. No, yeah. I'll get it. Oh, I can hear him right there. I'm pretty Ooh. sure that was the hive timer from last mission. He is oh, right pissed. there, and he is so mad. He's pissed, brother. We do not want your Girl Scout cookies, brother. <laughs> It should also be mentioned that doors and entryways are the most dangerous adversary in all of the Alethros because they can swallow you without mercy or meaning. There's a lot of- oh, oh, yeah, man, he's he's hit probably him. in this Oh, that, that seems fair. Up. That seems fair. I gotta purge this heresy right here. Looks like heresy to me, brother. I don't- I don't see anybody. Heresy is I'll, now airborne. Get this off my screen. I'll, I'll, I'll fucking light him on fire, though. I don't give a shit. Open the door! Open the door! I'm trying! Brother! Brother! It's blocked. So it's just stuck there like a big piece of shit? The Yo, Codex Astartes does not support this action. Brother, I am pinned here! If you don't get stuck, you'll experience the best the game has to offer outside of the heavy flamer, which is the environment. From the biggest freezer in the universe to the massive cathedrals, holy oh, yeah. shit is it ever well done. Does the architecture bring honor to the Emperor? Yes. Are we overloading the reactor to purge it all in flame in 20 minutes? Also, yes. Look at my screen. Thank I'm you. freezing my ass yeah, off in here. <laughs> That's such a good solution. Brother. Brother, are you cold? Are you cold? Brother, I am chilled here. <laughs> And the better decisions you make, the longer you'll stay alive, the more purging you'll do, and the more renown you'll earn. To spend on upgrades like faster reloads, beefier health, and weapons that never jam. I don't always jam my spirit cow, man, but when I do, it's because the size rain is breathing on my face. My face when I see a hive tyrant and I'm reloading. <laughs> 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 Resilient increases HP by 30% for each body part. A fellow space <laughs> marine just walks up yeah. and jabs you in the arm. You're still at 100%. Cosmetics are available too, which you can frown upon all you want, but you've really got to grind for them, and at least they aren't microtransactions. <laughs> this skins is the indomitable assault cannon of wrath. Holy shit, Psycho, that's such a neat skin. Fuck. Oh, well, thank you. Traitor's doom, destruction's glory, the voice of devastation, torment of defiance, and pain of the heretic. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Wait, is that... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I can re I can really ham that up. Just... <clears throat> Bane of the heretic. Torment of defiance. Traitor's doom. Destruction's glory. The voice of devastation. God. Oh, it's hilarious. I'm glad that I successfully deceived you until the end of the video because the greatest enemy in the entire game? Frame rates. Even with a monster rig of an i9 7980XE and a 2080Ti, I consistently cratered to sub 40 FPS from the sheer amount of Xeno filth and heavy flamer on my screen. Purge them in flame! The Emperor's finest. <laughs> my graphics card is gonna break. It's gonna break. God, are these flames ray tracing enabled? <laughs> I still am at 40. But I'm also glad and most thankful that I had my brothers beside me because we had Jackal who knows everything about 40k. Lionel Johnson is the Primarch of the Dark Angels. The only reason he hasn't returned is because he's literally just asleep. Jello, who knows next to nothing about 40k. <laughs> what is that? It's my ex-wife, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> Karen! That fits. <laughs> I'm gonna I already gave you the alimony! Burn the custody paper! <laughs> Kids are coming! She can't keep you from me forever! And Heavenly, who fits somewhere in between. Sounds like a bunch of nerds! <laughs> Blood for the blood god! That's clearly some heresy. I hope you had fun breaking heretics in half with me. Fight for the save, you foul Zeno! And even if you didn't, we purged them all in flame and bounced on out of there anyways. Their shelter has become their tomb. <laughs>